And we should be well. We're we're about to be live. It'll take a couple of seconds. But let's talk about the no. Oh, well, that's the ID connection. Yeah, she's having an issue with the connection. Um, but yeah, well, uh, Phoenix was just sharing about his you know, his wet shoe problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, um, we a lot of us love shoes, and we tend to protect them when whenever we can. Ah. Alam, I know that the shoes are supposed to serve our feet, right? Pero nakakainis din naman kasi if if you have to walk through rainy season and get your shoes wet all the time. Um, so I use galoshes. If I don't have galoshes, I use plastic bags. Pag ano, naglalakad ako sa kalsad. Hindi ko pa na try yun. Ang plastic bag. I have to. I have to. Because if you're... It, um, okay lang siguro if you're, we- if you're wearing leather. But I mean, if you're wearing rubbers. But if you're wearing leather, oh, come on. You have to protect your shoes. Unless, unless kung ikaw yung culture na you just change your shoes all the time like you, you know there uh, there's no judgment but my some of my friends go to um uh, uh, wagwaga what do you call that the second hand yeah uh, yeah they go to buy buy shoes from the second hand so kahit magkandagasgas yung sapatos nila kahit ano it's okay cuz they could just throw it away and buy another second hand kung gusto nila so unless you're like that, then more power to you. But ako, I wear plastic bags kung kailangan. So you, all right. So um, we're here, guys. We're we're talking about shoes. Good afternoon, everybody. Ayan, we are we are live. Uh, hello, Ab- Abid and Abi from Pakistan. Hello, hello, Emmanuel oh, okay. from Dumaguete, Irish from South Korea. I mean, we have a lot of international viewers tonight. All this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Um, Sheila from Las Piñas. Hello, uh, waterproof shoes and Kickstarter, sabi ni Emmanuel. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I've heard about that. Uh-oh. So tonight, uh, this afternoon, we're talking about the negative mm-hmm. side of freelancing. Uh, like, um, what is the, what are the negative side? We always talk about the positive. We probably always talk about benefits. And then, um, so this afternoon, we're changing a little bit. We're going to talk about the negatives, and um, we've got. Uh, well, tonight, uh, that, well, this afternoon, hindi pa night, but it's still 5 p.m. Uh, oh my God, night. Jason lost practice. Wala na yun. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, <laughs> Jason lost his touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, go on, go on. <laughs> Have fun. This is going to be interesting. Hindi ako sa naisa no, sa FCC. This is Anna. That's Anna. Kasi wala kasi si Anna. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're talking about the negative side of freelancing uh, this afternoon. So thank you guys for, for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to share this on your wall. Um, share this with your family, with your friends, so that they know about the negative side of freelancing. Din. And you can also tag your friends for them to learn more about this. So we've got myself, Jason Dulai. I am um, your host with co-host, Mr. Phoenix Jackson over there. Hi. But, uh, Pammy, Pammy, uh, your last name? Hi. Yep, yep. And Jerica, what's your last name, Jerica? Duyayag. 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 Jerica Duyayag. Okay, okay. So um, they're here with us. We're just going to hang out, um, have some clover chips, have some, you know, have some protein shake. Just talking about the negative side of freelancing. Ayan. So. Yeah, let, that's you know what I'm actually glad that you that this is the topic today because it's always we always talk about the positive side. Whenever we advertise freelancing, we always talk about uh the work work from home, okay lang ito. All you need is your skills and everybody can you can do it no matter the age, uh no matter your education. Puros ka na lang sinasabi natin. But we we rarely mention na there are some negative aspects of, of freelancing. Yeah, there are there are several negative aspects of freelancing. And Ivy, Ivy Joy is supposed to be joining us, pero she's having a problem um, with her internet. Parang hindi siya magajoy. Yeah. So yeah, there are negative sides of freelancing. And, and thank you, Phoenix, for sharing your thoughts about the topic. Uh, just you know, just quick introduction. I guess um, let's have a quick introduction. Uh, Jerica, you know, you can introduce yourself a little bit. Tell us about your background and what do you think about the topic for tonight. Um, hi everyone, I'm Jerica and I'm a Cordilleran like Sir Phoenix. And 
I am a mom of three, and uh, I am from uh, Latinidad Benguet Province, and I've been a full-time mom for 13 years now, and uh, I still consider myself uh, as a newbie in freelancing. There, and I'm glad I'm invited here. So what, do you, oh, what do you think about the topic? Yung, yung topic natin? Um, uh, marami akong natutunan kasi nag-research din ako sa topic na uh, nung nag-research ako, marami akong naranasan like this, uh, marami pala talagang negative side ng freelancing pero depende yun kung paano mo siya paano siya i-overcome uh, paano mo siya i-overcome Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. May, may mga negative side talaga. Pero we'll talk about that and how to overcome that. Right. Okay, Pammy, um, tell, tell, us about, tell us about yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Pammy. I was also a guest before sa FCC. And I forgot what uh, was the topic about, pero this time it's it's really a good thing. Kasi totoo yung sabi ni Sir, ni Sir Phoenix kanina na kapag may naglumalapit sa akin and asking me about freelancing, puro, puro good side yung maririnig nila. And when they already and when they already started freelancing, bigla silang nag-back out kasi hindi nila alam. May mga hihirap pa rin talagang ano, pinagdadaanan ang mga freelancers before we get to the part na nadadalian na tayo. So that's why I love this kasi para, para in case may magtanong ulit sa akin, hindi sila yung parang akala nila uupo ka lang sa bahay, mag-a-apply. Tapos, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're excited to talk about yung mga negative side ng freelancing. And, um, but before we get started, um, let's ask uh, Phoenix. Well, nobody's commented sa, sa hair ni Phoenix, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, sabi ko kasi bad hair day ngayon. I've, I've been struggling with my hair for a couple of minutes. Lahat maayos na maglalag in the sana ako pero dahil sa hair na ito it take it took, it take me it took me around 30 minutes just to mess up with my hair and uh, until now ganito pa rin na hindi ko unmanage so, <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> sorry guys my hair is messy today <laughs> it's okay it's okay um it's, it's something it's a good kasi wala nang comment but nobody's commenting about it they said hi mr phoenix i like your voice like you know and then you you know <laughs> At least, man. No. Sige. Oh, my uh, God. Greeting the viewers today. Uh, we've got Clyde, uh, Sheila. Hello, Lilette. Uh, Christine, Shing. Hello, hello. Um, Emmanuel. Oh, there's a invent weatherproofing shoes invented by a Filipino. Hmm, interesting. Erica. Hello. Good, uh, good evening. Good evening. Like, uh, it's evening, whatever. In some part of the world. Marisa, <laughs> uh, Jamie, Langsa. Uh, yeah, um, Dinks, Angela, Orlando from Pasig, Chrissy, and si Angeline, Sir Phoenix, Sir Upland Clover from Calamba, um, Abby, Chrissy, Jam Jam, uh, Anna, what can I miss about him? Paki sagot at paki basa. Binasa ko yung question mo na. Wala lang, nakaka inis ko lang talaga. You know, I, I mean, for, di ba, di ba Phoenix, you agree? Wala lang. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> Kasi wala na wala kaming aasa rin dito kaya <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Pero we love we love Anna naman dito. Oo, time yeah. time lang. Mm-mm. Love na may galit. Sige. Okay. So guys, if you have any questions for us tonight, um, any comments about the topic, let us know in the comments below. Let's talk about this negative side of of freelancing. So yeah, and uh well, let's start off by continuing where Pammy started. She mentioned that you know, she shares a lot about freelancing some more friends, yeah, I guess some more family. Pero yung iba, once they start facing those challenges, nagba back out. We, we see them backing out. Um, I guess we've we've seen that. All of us have seen that. So mm. like what's the we can start off with Pammy because we're just continuing from from yung snad mo kanina. Like what is the the main reason kaya, why they back out? If we're gonna start with one reason. Um, I think yung kasi kuno nag, pag nag-start tayo dun sa bootcamp, there's this um, biggest why you are starting. Mm-hmm. And hindi ganun ka-strong yung reason nila kung bakit gusto nila mag-freelance. And they're not prepared 
yung parang kasi kailangan kasi pag mag-start ka somewhere, you have to you have to be mentally prepared kahit pa paano para alam mo kung ano yung papasukan mo. Hindi yun. Kapag bigla kang po, bigla kang nag-try, tas no fail ka, and you're not prepared emotionally and mentally, bigla ka na lang, ano ba yan? Ayoko na. <laughs> parang kasi nasanay, mm. pero sa industry natin, sa mga nag-BPO, sanay tayo na apply lang, makapasok, magkahumat agad. Hindi na yung kailangan pang Aralin mo pa yung mga bagay, katulad sa freelancing yeah. na you have to, you have to uh, scale up sa skills mo bago ka makapag, bago ka makapag-try, mag-apply, gano'n. Mm-hmm. Kaya parang nahihirapan sila agad. Natat- yung, yung iba, afraid of rejection. Marami pong ano eh, aspects. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I agree, diba? The, 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 the why is very important, diba? We all, we all agree that. So, Like, I guess we can we can ask, what is your why? You know, what is your why? Because all of us here, the four of us here, have been through the challenges. We face those challenges. We face these struggles, the negative side. Um, yeah. With that reason, you know, we've had a strong enough why for us to get this far in freelancing. Kaya di siyempre ni Jerica na you're a newbie pero even if like si Jerica snabi mo na newbie ka in the in in a, So uh, those that don't have experience yet, oh, they're going to look up to you. They're going to say, oh, si Jerica, may trabaho na, she's working as a freelancer. Um, so even if you you see yourself as a newbie, you've, you're successful already. You, you're far, marag, uh, marag, parang you're already at a higher level than most people. So what is your why? Let's start with Jerica. Like, what is your why that helped you get through the challenges and struggles that we initially face as freelancers? Uh, siyempre, uh, financially. Pero may, may behind financially, meron din mas, ma, mas uh, magandang rason. Siyempre, may budget, or, yung budget kasi namin very tight. Tsaka pag, pe, pag kunwari kulang yung budget namin, meron yung mama ko. Eh, hindi naman palaging meron yung mama ko. Af, kasi government employee siya. After five years, magre-retire na yan eh. So, inisip ko, hindi forever na ganun. Tapos, um, syempre, sa 13 years na pagiging wife, housewife ko, parang nakaka-dep- nakaka-depressed din. Na parang wala kang ginagawang wala kang ginagawang ma- parang wala kang ginagawang ways para ma- matupad yung goals mo. Meron ka rin pangarap eh. Meron ka rin pangarap. Parang blessing din na dumating yung freelancing na pwede pa lang mag-work sa bahay kahit, kahit sa bahay lang. Yung ganon. So, so financial, the, the financial need was strong enough. Na. So kahit even if you face more challenges, which we're going to talk about in a bit, even though you face those challenges, you were able to, to get rid of them because you always return to ano, uh, financial, kailangan talaga financially. Mm. Ikaw, Pammy, like, what, what's your why? So, Or what was your Okay. <laughs> Sobrang dami yung reason ko kasi talaga kung bakit so mag-take loves na. Um, nung, nag, nung nag-guest ako before sa, kasi po yung sabi ko, undergrad ako matapos. Ang daming people, bakit hindi ako possibly makapag-work sa labas and earn um, enough money para matagod yung family namin. Ito yung asawa ko naman po nag-work. Alam mo, kasi... Ang dami ko po kasing pangarap para sa sarili ko lang. Tapos, syempre, para sa mga anak ko. Sa kaisa pa, nagkaroon po kami ng problem noon sa sa nani, sa mama ko, na hindi siya makapag-alaga. And yung baby ko, wala po talaga mag-alaga. So, na, na ano ko, nasta ako sa pagiging, wala akong choice kundi housewife. Tapos, hindi talaga ako, para araw-araw ako umiiyak kasi hindi ko, feeling ko hindi ako, I mean, wala nang, there's nothing wrong with, with being a housewife. It's just that feeling ko wala akong may ambag sa pamilya namin para umangat. So, it's it's the biggest why. Kasi kailangan, sabi ko sa sarili ko na I have a I have a dream na basta ko talaga yung i-pursue. Kaya kailangan gumawa ko ng bagay. Nung lalo na kung nagulat ako na laban ko yung freelancing. So, pinush ko talaga siya. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's a, that's a very strong reason. They're like, I'm sure a lot of reviewers, who, who among you guys right now watching, are housewives then, or, or stay-at-home moms, 
um, or even moms now who want to spend more time with their family. Because Tammy, you know, that was a housewife and she wanted to contribute then, right? not just your husband mo, is the one when contributing financially. At all, you know, so it's a bit of fam both family then, you know, family is a very strong wife, family and financial at the same time. So those two really help you pursue um, and be successful in freelancing. So let's go to Phoenix. I, I muted you, Phoenix, earlier because you, you chips for a while. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I <Okay>. noticed. <laughs> okay. um, so when Phoenix, Phoenix started a long time ago, um, you know, well, not that long time ago, I guess, but he started before, you know, Pammy and Jerica started, before there was a VA boot camp, before there was some of the yeah. guys. It was, it was much more of a challenge during our time when we started. So um, how did you get past that challenge? What was your why? The, to me, my why is simply I, I wasn't doing anything. I, was, I wasn't being a productive person. And I came from, I came from a culture where if you're not doing anything for an hour you're a useless person <laughs> you nang you nang parang uh psyche namin noon eh. as a uh, as somebody who worked abroad ganun ganun talaga ang culture doon hindi pwede yung tumatambay-tambay yung hindi pwedeng nakanganga ka lang talaga it's just uh, i was just trained to be like that so when i came home to the philippines and nobody's hiring me but in the panic na ako now why am i being a useless person but i'm good enough so i had to i had to do something that's my biggest why really just i just want to be somebody who is useful ang ang hirap ng di, di ba pag natambay ka talagang nakaka pa, habang nagtatagal na tambay ka pa insecure nang pa insecure ka and, and this this disappointment to me, it, it happens time and time again. Just hindi um, uh, I mean, I believe even you, Jason. Sometimes you feel low. Sometimes you feel like you you want to quit, and it happens to me time and time again. Because um, uh, just because you have this why, just because you have the reason to to do freelancing, doesn't mean that you're immune to disappointments. Because yes. disappointments come time and time again they just keep on coming and it's really just up to you to be strong um weakness ko is uh we have this filipino expression we call lingas kugon which i think a lot of us filipinos also have like we have this fire burning deep down inside us pag papasok tayo ng freelancing and then by the time we we enter freelancing we are all going for it we are all for it like with all Everything that we have, we are giving it all. But after a couple of days, you know, the, the, the flame starts to die down with no, for no reason at all. Sometimes for no reason at all. It just dies down. And I have that. I have that. I just keep on, have, I just have to constantly fight against that because that is kind of my demon. Yeah, and, and we all have our demons. The thing with social media then is that like even a whole person, like like Phoenix said, I I face my own challenges as well. But I, there are times when I feel down. I feel um, I don't want. I, I want to give up and I don't want to continue. Um, but the, the thing with social media, and this is you know, the studies have shown that social media um, is bad for you for your mental health because we only see the good sides of things. Yes. Media. Um, I, I won't share you mga. Well, personally, I, I don't share you mga you mga sad parts and you mga challenges of so much on social media because it's not something that we want to mm. open out about you let the skeleton out of, out of the closet it's not something we normally do some people do it uh oh i don't personally do it and most people don't do it so um right now we're talking about these challenges it's great because we're talking about these challenges because we don't normally see it on social media and in phoenix's case well his why about was he wanted to do something he wanted to do something with productive when he came back to the philippines um and and uh, we've heard this story before but I'll, let's go ahead and ask you phoenix why didn't you look for a, a regular job i tried i tried nobody's hiring me because i came from abroad like um i even i even approached my my friends who who have their own companies and they don't want to hire me because they think uh they cannot justify they can't pay me the amount that uh they think i will be asking for uh, and at the same time, they cannot offer me the regular uh, salary that they are giving to everybody else. 
Kasi nga, gal, ganyan ang stigma kapag galing kang abroad. If you came from if you came from abroad, they they know that you're earning like 60k, 100k a month uh, just for working abroad. So and, and that salary is just uh, you have to be like a supervisor before you reach or or be a doctor if you want 60k a month. And yeah. that's something that they cannot offer. So you couldn't find the right employment, the right employment fit for you. Uh, well, going going back to the why, um, my biggest why was in corporate. I wasn't fulfilled working in, in corporate. I, I needed, I felt na stagnant in growth. Um, I, oh, I personally want to grow consistently. I want to um, do more. I, I believe na I believe that I could do more with with my life, not just stay in the call center. I've seen these call center employees na parang. 10 years, ganun, and I didn't want to be like that. So um, that's why I look for something that I can grow. And I'm I'm glad I found it with freelancing. That you can grow as much as you, you want. Right? You can learn whatever skills yeah. you want. Uh oh, you can yes. increase your rate to $100 if you want to. So it's really mm -hmm. in your control. Um, and that's that's what that drive kept me going. Um, be, um, beyond these mga challenges and going back to these challenges uh going back to these challenges about when we first start out as freelancers um let, well i'll just ask you guys if you agree the first challenge um, especially for those that in the recent years is it takes time to find your first client yes oh yeah mm -hmm. so getting challenged for this it takes time yeah. to find uh, so so um Tammy, how long did it take you to find your first client? Two months po, ganun. Ganun siya. Yung site, yung kaya nagulat po ako ng Christmas party. Pag may nakakausap ako, sinasabi sa akin na, wait, two months lang, sabi sa akin, ganun. Sila mas matagal daw. Pero sabi ko sa akin, siguro talagang sobrang prosigido ko lang po talaga doon. Kasi talagang gumawa, hindi nga po kumabot ko sa hustle challenge eh. Kaya gumawa ko ng sarili DIY, nag-DIY ako ng hustle challenge ko. Tapos, Kisi na ako, send ang proposal, pagkatulog, bago ako matulog, send ang proposal. Siguro po sa isang araw, hindi, ang di nila alam, akala nila ang galing ko, di nila alam sa may isang araw, anim or sampo na proposal, na proposal lang sinesend ko. Until mm -hmm. we interview sa akin. Tapos I had like 10 interviews, tapos ang dami kong fail. Ang dami kong fail. Lalo na first interview ko, nakakakaba. Kaya <laughs> hindi kayo sarili sa dahil lang ba't ako natanggap. Kasi may meron pa siyang may kasama siyang calls yun sa sa ano na yun, client na yun. So, sabi ko sabi ko sa ano na nasabi ko pa sa na may bata ako sa bahay isa pa yun sa struggle ng mga freelancers kapag may kasama ang kids mahirap din kasi yun ang dun yung challenges kasi kanyari mag mag-aalaga ka ka ba na trabaho ganun sobrang sobrang dami din yun dami yung nangyayari <laughs> Hmm. And and sa two months na yun, sa two months na yun, di ba, you, 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 you said you you sent mga six to ten um, ano, proposals or cover letters per, per day. So, ay, nakamute ka. Okay. Uh, uh, so, like, how many how many rejections did you get in that two-month period? Ang dami, hundreds po siguro. <laughs> hundreds po siguro. Or hundreds na rejection, pero some po. 10 po na interviews yung nakuha ko. Tapos, 10 na interview, 9, 9 doon rejected ako. Pero actually, nung 2 months na yun, wala pa rin ako, hindi pa rin ako yung nag-give up. Sobrang grabe, burning, burning pa rin yung ano ko, yung kagustuhan ko na makapag-freelance talaga. Akala, akala ng iba, talaga hindi ka, na, hindi ka nanawa. Kasi sa, lalo na sa mga friends ko sa BPO, sanay tayo na Yung marami pa nga sa atin, call center hopper, di ba? Yung apply dito, apply dyan, nakakakuha agad ng trabaho. So, akala nila in freelancing, it's it's just like, upo ka lang, tapos makahapon ka lang ng work. Like BPO na, may, may a-applyan ka lang. Hindi nila alam na you have to send proposal na si client, titignan pa yun. It's not like na pag nag-send ka ng proposal, uh, isa ka agad sa mga pagpili for interview. It's not like that. Um... It depends kung gano'ng kaganda yung or kung gano'ng ka ka-appealing yung ginawa mong letter para para mapansin ni client. Yun yung isa sa mga struggle ko nun. Lalo na, lalo na sa mga first-timers. Pero kung totoo yun, kapag nakatry ka na talaga ng isa na isang 
nakapa- nakuha ko na isang client, sunod-sunod na po talaga yun. Yeah. So you'll yeah. know what to do. You'll know what to do na. You're, you'll know your mistakes, kung saan ka mm. ay iwas, anong iiwasan mo, nagawin. Ang dami ko, ang dami ko talaga yung struggles. Eh. Yeah, it's, it's always getting that first client. Um, I think that's where most people give up. From that, from from when they learn about freelancing to getting their first client, um, and the commit campaigna, or parang may kausap ni pamina. It's always getting that first client. That that's that period there is the uh, yeah that's the biggest challenge. It's the biggest challenge. Yo, Jerica, how long did it take you to get your first client? <laughs> Ako kasi sir. Uh... After 11 months, siya ako lang in-apply talaga yung natutunan ko sa BA Bootcamp. Ay, nagalan ko. <laughs> Tapos, um, uh, September of 2018, nag-DIY hustle ako. Wala-wala, hindi consistent. Tapos, October October last year, nag-join ako ng October Hustle Challenge. So, during the Hustle Challenge, nakakuha naman ako. Pero 3 days lang. November, doon ko na ko yung client ko ng uh, full-time, ng three months. Yun. Alright, alright. Pero yeah, it's not consistent sa mga nagiging almost one uh, year without uh, not being consistent during that time. Um, Mikael Phoenix. Good. Long time. Long time. <laughs> Kasi uh, 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 during my time wala wala talagang walang walang VA bootcamp eh, during my time and um it, it was still Odesk the the only advantage that I have in Odesk is unlimited yung application no kahit send ka na lang ng send ng send so uh, it took me some learning na send ako ng send ng send let's say I sent like 10 applications wala nga, nga. another 10 applications wala nga, nga. and then Anong, what's 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 wrong with my application? Ako ng ganun. So I try to change a little bit of, of those and then send nang send nang send nang send. Na naman. It took me about probably six months of, of that. And um let me let me speak um on on behalf of the non-students. This is what you have to deal with if you're not a student. I mean, yes. we're not we're not forcing you guys to up to to enroll, but uh, Ang hirap kasi if if you really want if you want to go uh, do your journey by yourself na wala talagang tutulong sa and you only use Google and YouTube and whatnot eh, um ang hirap talaga yes you can do it I mean I was able to do it pero ah uh, God it takes go go the boot pi ako galing ako ako abroad I still had the funds to supplement uh, my unemployment but even for a year I can I could still support myself for that pero paano paano yung iba na kakukuit lang nila or they just got fired or they just got fed up with life and quit their jobs and just wanted to do freelancing the the sooner you get employed the sooner you find a client the better otherwise magiging stressed out ka na lagi mo na lang inaalala na output ka na lang ng output wala man lang input input you you'll be in a hurry to to do that so to speed things up you really need to know where to get help from and that's why we promote the VA Bootcamp. But for me, dance to that ako. And I just attest na ang hirap. It took me a long time. It took me a lot of headaches just to learn one simple thing. Lang sa how to, you know, it took me like three months before I, I realized that uh, my approach wasn't wasn't good. The way I sent my proposals weren't good. And then it took me another couple of months to learn how to negotiate my, my rate. It takes a lot of time. So, yeah, it took me about six months or so of... of, of Sabihin mo ng one year, all in all, before I started my real my real journey in freelancing. And, and within that year, diba, there are, like Pam said, hundreds of rejections that we get... And oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. I mean, some, it, you, would, you would even be happy Actually, you would even be happy if you if you receive a response from a client na, yes. na, that you are rejected. Actually, you are you're gonna be happy for that rather than nakatunganga ka na lang na three weeks na wala pa wala pa rin sa dead map sila sa sa mga proposals mo. Let's say one hundred. Uh, let's uh, okay. Sabi na natin wala tayo sa Upwork. Let's go to freelancer.com or online job that that ph. Send ka ng send ng send ng ng proposal. Wala pumapansin sa yo. 
di ba nakaka-insecure yung ganun, magtataka na lang, what am I doing wrong? Whereas, kapag merong, merong magre-respond na client na, I'm sorry, but I've, ta- but I've uh, um, I think you need to improve more. Pag sasabihin nilang ganun, then, wow, parang, okay, I love that criticism. Sige lang, sige lang, para ma-improve ko. It's even relieving if you get directly rejected kesa naman sa, yes. you're just left out, out in the air. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And that's what happens. That's what happens most mm. of the time when we apply the job. When we're first starting out, we get we send hundreds. Um, I, and I guess it, it wouldn't even be an exaggeration to to say over a thousand, over a thousand uh, cover letters. Probably I've, I've sent over a thousand, in, and you don't hear back. You don't hear back. And, and that's what really makes it challenging. That emotional, yes. emotional process. Diba? Lalo na po gustong gusto mo yung, propo, yung, yung job post. Hindi yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nalang yeah. 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 You're excited about it. Diba? You invest yung emotions. Kaya ko to, oh my God, this is the perfect job that I've been waiting for. And then wala. Hindi siya mag- magparamdam sa'yo. Diba? The, the um, and that happens multiple times. That happens multiple times. Um, so, yeah. But, you guys who are watching here, maybe you, you're you already freelancers. Let us know, how long did it take for you to get your first client? And those who aren't freelancers, at least you know now, you know that it does take time. It does take time. Um, iba iba, you know, for different people, iba iba. But that's really um, the biggest, I said, the, the biggest challenge, getting your first client. Uh, because yeah. that process, that's where most people quit. But yes. um, once you get your first client, tuloy tuloy na iba. We've all, we've all experienced that. I mean, Sabi ko nila, Sir Jason, di ba, um, your very first step and the very first move is the hardest part. Like going to the gym, um, mm. forcing yourself to go to the, to the gym is hard. But if you're already, uh, you know, pulling the weights and if, if you're already doing it, you're already doing the sweat, madali na lang siya, tuloy-tuloy na. And then kinabukasan, kinabukasan ng kinabukasan, tuloy-tuloy na siya. But the very first day of doing it is really hard. Mm-hmm. And getting that, getting that, well, especially if you're not seeing results, Deba. I think that's yes. with the gym analogy. Mm-hmm. One of the big struggles is that um, you work so hard, but you don't see results yet. Pero it mm-hmm. builds up in the long term. But the results build up in the long term. Um, is that the mocha pot, Phoenix? No, <laughs> yeah. no it's the it's a uh, uh, yeah. coffee press. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, now. We we've gone through that cha- those those challenges. Uh, well, looking at the comments, Moon, I'm just gonna say hi to, to the folks over here. You mga stay at home moms that would be though. Um, Sheila, uh, Jeng, Juliana, uh, Noble, a housewife, Lansa, Shell, um, Carlisle, aspiring, Jen. Um, ganyan yun yung naisip ko kaya gusto niya magtayong freelancing. Um, Ken already resigned to pursue freelancing. Uh, Ako lang kasi ang kasama nila sa bahay. Okay. Uh, Christy, why I am in freelancing? Because I want to be with my son. I want to watch him closely as he grows old. His first, step, his first letter word that came from him. I've been working in corporate and I neglect the responsibility of being a good mother and wife to husband because I'm more focused on my work. So now I'm happy with them because of freelancing. That's a great sharing over there. Um, tama po yan, Sir Phoenix. Ang hirap po mong... Uh, I agree on here but will often capability financial to help with expenses lot of emergencies they have low confidence from the cat that degrade that's why I really want mug free lights uh, disappointments coming time and time again exactly exactly what the words I needed to hear uh, Jamie went Jamie went through that then I I, I remember that oh um, so guys uh, guys are getting up to say the way you will find out you lack some skills like presentation, Photoshop. I think it needs time. It's it needs time to equip yourself again. Yeah, and yeah, but that's something that you know we've worked in corporate. But I guess all of us have worked um, in in some kind of corporate capacity before. Um, mm-hmm. And when we start freelancing, parang yeah, we went to school, we went to co- maybe we went to college um, or high school, graduate, and we spent so many years in school. And we don't want to go to school anymore. That was when we start freelancing. I have to I have to learn again. I have to study these things again. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. We learn new skills, Deva. 
Um, and for a lot of people, it's it's something that they don't want to do. Right? They don't want it to go through that. Um, ako, and, ako there are so many there are so many job uh, openings out there. Now you are so excited because when you see job, it's it's recommended for you, right? But uh, when you look at it and you find the description, it says you need you need to know this and you need to know that. Eh, parang <sighs> katatapos ko lang po nag-aral na pag-aaralin mo na naman ako ng ganito. You know that even I uh, even I get disappointed with that. And uh, the fact that I'm a long term, I've been I've been editing videos for a very long time. Meron pa rin yung mga bagong technology, bagong techniques na nire-require ng mga clients. And I'm I'm like, come on, isn't what well, am I not enough? Y- yun na lang ang ma- ma- mararamdaman mo. Eh. Sometimes if you are required to up your skills, it is quite disappointing. But um, I guess we just need really need to find a reason why we have to. The why, the we why. Always, yeah, we, we always keep looking. So we usually look at the reasons why we should not when, when uh, it is because we get emotional, we, we, we get emotionally invested with, with everything that we do. So whenever we hear that there we have some limitations, we take it personally, and we try to think negatively about it. So it is quite difficult to look at the at the positive as uh, uh, yeah positive side of that, like learning new 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 stuff. It is tiring, it is challenging, but if you really go for it and you just put your foot forward, just one step at a time, you will realize that it's not really that hard. Yun naman eh. Yun, yun naman ang, parang yun naman ang sagot sa karamihan eh. In every challenges that we face, all we need is to go through it. Just step forward. And it, it we always, at the end, in hindsight, we always realize that it's not that bad. Kaya if we apply that principle to everything that we do, especially in freelancing, then I, I guess we can survive a bit longer if we do that. Yeah, we can, if we get through that initial challenge, right? if we get through that initial depression, the negative part of freelancing, um, that for those first few months. But I want to ask you guys, we've gone through that time period. Like we send a hundred, a thousand different cover letters, proposals, and we don't hear anything, or we, we just get rejection after rejection. We go through interviews and we get rejected. We have our hopes up, and we just and your rejection can really make some people depressed. Um, so how, aside from the wise, but did you have any any routine or how did you finally push through that period despite the disappointments, despite the depression during that period? Um, let's start with Jerica. Um, oh, yung mga, nakatulong din kasi yung mga friends ko sa, ano, yung naging friends ko sa, October Hustlers. Hello. <laughs> um, nung time na uh, talagang naramdaman ko na demotivate ako, nag-advise naman sila kahit hindi ako active sa group. Tsaka, um, o oh, humihingi din ako na advice sa mama ko, sa asawa ko, tsaka sa pinsan kong may idea ng freelancing. Tsaka, um, every, re- every rejection kasi parang tinitake kong practice siya practice para ma-improve pa yung skills ko. So, um, yun. Yeah, that, that's, you know, getting, and, and that's a mindset, di ba? Uh, the rejections, you're you're taking them positively na you need to learn more. You're, you're taking them as, as positive feedback rather than being overly depressed about it. You know, okay, to practice this, I need to learn this, di ba? So that, that's, I guess that outlook is really what what made you parang get past that stage. Ikaw, Pami. Uh-huh. Ako po yung, I really changed my mindset. Kasi ako yung tipo ng tao na noon, I want to get things right away. Like, if, if nag, um, pag inaral ko to, yun, gusto ko, meron na kada akong result bukas. Ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi ako ganun. Parang may lang yung mangyayari agad sa, sa binayaran ko. Sa akong ganun. Yun yung isip ko noon. So, ako, ay, magbabayad ako. Kailangan may client ako. Agad. Akala ko ganun. Lalo na yung mga friends ko, high friends dyan na, kasi marami din akong friend na 
akala nila kapag nag-enroll sila sa VA Bootcamp, bibigyan sila ng client. So sabi ko sa kanila, it doesn't work that way. Sa kanila, hindi porque nagbayad ka, magkaka-client ka agad. So sabi ko, yes, ako, kaya siya ginagawa Bootcamp, eh, kasi tuturuan ka nila, bibigyan, tuturuan ka, tuturuan ka nila magka-skills. So um, ako talaga, ano, as for this, yung araw-araw na, na kinikaw ng mga podcast on how to motivate myself, I watch you to yung mga motivational videos to keep me motivated at the fire burning. Tapos, magandang isip bonus yung, yung mga taong supportive sa paligid mo. Um, tapos, uh, keep, keep on track sa mga people na yung mga gusto mong maging. So, ako, ang ginawa ko nun, I follow people that I want to be. I follow people, I, I follow those people on Facebook, on Instagram, so I can, I keep on seeing them on my feed para hindi puro negative yung nakita ko or things na can pull me away from what I what I really wanted. Like, kunyari, pag napunta ako sa feed, tumagulit ako yung mga friend ko, nakalipat na sila ng BPO, tapos mag-upo sila na ganito yung salary, ganyan, ganyan. I, go, I, I, I actually really did unfollow them. Pero I wrote down their names, so kapag nagka-client na ako, eh, follow back ko na lang sila. <laughs> kasi talaga, kung gusto mo kasi talaga isang bagay, you have to pull yourself away sa mga bagay na sa tingin mo, mag-ihila sa'yo. So, ginawa ko talaga mindset ko, inayos ko talaga tapos I talk to the right people and I make sure na lagi ko nag, nag, nagtatanong sa group ay sa, sa Facebook group natin tapos kapag may hindi talaga ako alam, nagtatanong talaga ako kahit simpleng maliit na bagay na feeling ko bumukha akong kaaning na parang sabi nila na ano ba yan, maliit na bagay yun, pwede may i-google pa baka sabi ako, oh, GMT mo diba? Ayaw ko lang talaga you just you just have to put, put everything in your mind na gusto, what gusto mo yung isang bagay, yung gagawin mo siya talaga, yung, yung there's nothing to stop you, yung talaga, yung para sa akin. It's, it's all about mindset and also the desire to do it. To do it. And, and I love that, diba? You, you, change, you, you change your mindset because you know na, okay, this is a tough road that I'm facing. Um, I have to make sure na I don't... Um, I, I don't get sidetracked, uh, and you know the things. Okay, identify the thing. I like Tammy's practice. Identify kung saan siya masa sidetracks, anong makaka distract yeah. and yeah. then she block those things. Okay, I won't, you know, see these mm-hmm. on Facebook. She blocked them, so it's a conscious decision that she knew it would stop her, stop those, and then listed down the things. That, okay, this is what will help me get through this. Watching these motivational videos, following these people, and so on, and and she deliberately made that step so it's a very conscious decision that pammy made um to get through yeah. this time period so so that's something that I, I think a lot of us can can um learn from making that conscious decision because you know that this is something that you know if, if you didn't do that i think you might have given up diba? yes so po kasi lalo na dito sa amin um lahat ng wala po talaga akong kahit isang kamag-anak I actually, we have, uh, meron po akong isang tita na hindi ko alam noon na nag-freelance. So that time, wala po talaga akong kakilala na nag-freelance. Wala sa paligid ko ang nag-freelance. And I can't ask anyone na pati pati emotionally na mag-realize, I mean, magtanong sa kanila na ganito ba talaga kahirap to? Wala akong matanungan ng ganun. Wala akong makausap about my problems about freelancing. Pero I just did something na sa tingin ko, so I so feeling ko, saan nasa isip ko po kasi na lahat na sa internet na yun. So you simply googling na how to keep motivated, how to keep yourself um, motivated, ganun. Google ko na lang lahat and then that's it. Um, andun, andun yung tulong eh sa lahat ng bagay. Sobrang, sobrang dami yung downside ng internet pero sobrang dami yung magagandang bagay if you know how to use it. Oh, yeah. That's a wonderful thing that that you did oh, and, and yeah you guys can and we can all of us can learn from that so thank you for sharing that Tammy. um going back here to the comments um wait let's let's see i'm here kapag walang financial capability oh yeah we i covered this earlier uh okay wala ko sa comments um so ngayon kasi pag nakaedad na tayo tapos pag apply sa ibang company grabe na yung competition in in ano di ba in real life na um, when you're applying to companies, but in freelancing it doesn't matter you know, how how old or how young you are it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, I noticed a comment a while ago talking about their um, their age and their uh, difficulty in typing. Uh, whoever you are, I'm. sabi niya she's fifty plus or something, and yeah, being being get, getting to that age range, mahirap na talagang mag. Mag, ano, eh, mag, mag ng bagong skills. It's really difficult to learn even as something as simple as typing, but you can. You can. You still can. There are so many jobs out there that doesn't require so much typing. Kung, yes. kung yun ang mo. There, are, there are so many other jobs there where you, they, she, uh, they just need your voice or they just need you to uh, copy paste using the mouse and I think that is something that you can do. Meanwhile, if you have such disadvantages as you call it, then um, y- you try to overcome that on the side. Not directly, not right, not right now because your biggest challenge is to get a client and then while you are getting a client, try to improve your typing as as far as you can. And look for ways that will con- uh, that will help you out. Like if you are, if you realize that you're actually faster in typing on the phone using the phone, then do that. Use that. If you think that you could type faster using your voice, then you use that. There, we've we've got lots of technology nowadays. We are lucky. Tayo mga medyo nasa nasa edad. Now we are still lucky that we are uh, that we can still enjoy the technology that the youngsters can offer us. So wait, wait, let's just take advantage of that and don't let your age or lack of skills deter you. In, uh, instead, look at the things that you are good at. Katulad uh, nagsabi na. She's worried, but she's a bookkeeper by profession. You, you already have so much skills that you can use, so you don't you don't really have to worry about your your profession. All you need is to follow the steps that the people are are giving you, and trust in the system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree with, with what Phoenix said. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I'm going over the comments here. Um, AT saying in in the past, I think I've quite how freelancers, freelancers can keep motivated as there are times that. Um, we find ourselves feeling down or low. There's no fire. And this Phoenix responded to my query, the need to do something different. I think that is where the VA Bootcamp community comes in to support not just technical, but beyond. Uh-oh, beyond then. Um, Bobby, uh, head over to freevacourse.com. Um, as a first timer, the, 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 the guide is over there for you to get, just guiding you towards the skills and your first freelance job. Um, Ray, me, why I, after I graduated college, I found out that my family is in big debt. Our family business went bankrupt. Offered rate to me for a corporate job is sobrang baba at hindi makakatulong sa pagbayad ng utang. I discovered freelancing. It became my first job. Landed an ongoing VA job after my first few months in freelancing. Now I'm five-year VA na. Congratulations, Ray. Um, almost mm. five-year na rin kay client ko nagbigay ng ongoing work. Freelancing now as a sideline. Now a breadwinner supporting both... Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, four months still looking for the one. Um, Carlisle, thank you, Gabby, to hear of Phoenix experience. One year of waiting that's where VA Bootcamp comes in, that's where the value comes in. Oh, the VA Bootcamp, that's where you then we have support. I mean, that's one of the things that we don't really talk about so much. We talk about the skills that you learn, we talk about uh, you know, your best practices, but you have the support of uh, uh, people like Tammy, people like Jerica. Um, who have who have been through those challenges uh, and, and are where they are right now? And, uh, in two weeks to get a first client, uh, Jamie got first client a month after fin- finishing the VA bootcamp during the whole challenge. Uh, Christy, two weeks after Upwork approval, I personally get my first client. Nice, nice, congratulations. Uh, great. Hi, good, good. Um, I got myself my at one dollar i don't know you're probably charging more i hope you're charging more right now after five years <laughs> uh, all the experience that i've heard Lalo challenge there's comments here um all right now um you guys were talking about the, the challenges how you get past the challenges but let's go a little bit. I'll flip it a bit and say, like, after the challenge, after you got your first client, um, what was the result? I mean, we put in a lot of 
of pollution. We put in a lot of investment, a lot of time, uh, and even money. You know, enrolling in the boot camp. Oh we put a lot. We invest a lot into pursuing this career, pursuing this line. So, after all that investment, after all that. I know, Phoenix. What, what, what's what's I know, what, what's on your mind? I'm just laughing because in my experience, after I got my first client, I was paid super low anyway, and yet I was happy. <laughs> it's magic, like it's a miracle by the time you get a, your first client and your first pay, you're an instant millionaire. You're not. <laughs> it doesn't work that way because um, most likely... Most likely, by the time you get your first client, you you will be, uh, since it's your first time, your clients who are batido in haggling, they will, <laughs> they will definitely uh, low blow you. And you have no choice but to accept it, just all, all for the sake of getting that first client. So your first pay could be something as small as 20 cents. It could be as, as low as that, uh, which is, yeah, to me, ganun nga, 20 cents. It's, it's really, uh, it, but the thing there is I'm still happy because I finally got my first client. It, in the eyes of many, parang, if you're telling this story to, to other people, people might, people might be, might be disappointed because after all that struggle, after all that months of studying, after all that building up your skills, and your first salary is like $3, parang ang sakit. <laughs> diba? Parang ang sakit pag, pag ganun. But, yeah, it's it, it. Sometimes it doesn't work that, that uh, magically like the others. But I'm I'm not saying that everybody is going through hardships like like I did. But mar- marami, marami yung mga iba na, na after one week of class, nagka, uh, nagka sila, and then after that, they their their first salary is like six hundred dollars already. Para, parang ganun. It, some people are just lucky. Some people have to go through hardships. And I definitely had that trial. Like my first client haggled me so much because uh, she was Filipino. And um, it was a transcription job. And I had to work my ass off for like eight hours only to get like two cents, two hours, 20 cents or something. It's a, huh, it's, it, it's terrible. But uh that's just how it is that's just how life works sometimes sorry i i, I couldn't help myself to laugh, uh, so reminiscing on what i've been through before <laughs> pero, pero now but going through that question about what what was there uh, going through the challenges the struggles that's all that time money emotion <laughs> to me is um by the way, Jason, you're chopping, you're chopping, you're cutting off. Um, the thing to me is, uh, I do something that I am passionate about. So no matter the how the hardship, it seems to me like it's not. Uh, even if I am disappointed, it's not so much as um, an impact. It doesn't pierce my heart so much. Because if you if you are enjoying what you are doing, if you are passionate at what you are doing, any disappointments out there are just noise that you can block. You can just push away those noise. Lat ng mga discouragements, lat ng even for the youngsters na ninenag na kayo ng mga kuya ate na naitatay ninyo na hanggang ngayon wala pang nangyayari sa'yo, computer ka na computer. Uh, they don't realize that you're struggling through freelancing. You know, mga ganon. Those are, but if you are passionate at what you are doing, if you're applying as a digital artist which you are really, really, really passionate about, it doesn't matter. Yung mga disappointment, it doesn't really matter. Yung mga maliliit na sweldo na yan, it doesn't matter. Because you will get to that point where you will be paid substantially and rightfully, and there will, there you will be happy with whatever you have been through anyway. That's, yeah. I mean, for me, it's like that. I'm always, I'm, I'm, an, I'm a strong advocate of doing what you enjoy. So, kaya nga sa general VA, you are given so many branches, you are given so many paths to go through, and 
Oh, eventually, as a newbie, ganyan lang sa general kayo. But eventually, you will narrow it down to your niches. And then that's where you will be doing what you are passionate about and you will be happy with what you are doing. Hindi na, hindi na siya nakaka-stress. I remember back then, um, meron ta, meron, uh, before freelancing, meron akong nakagdaan yung mga jobs na I wake up in the morning and I'm scared to wake up in the morning because I know that I'm going to go to work, which I dread, I hate. Yung mga ganun, oh my God, traffic na naman, my God, nakakatakot, ah, mag-uumaga na. You, you, that, that kind of feeling. But when I went through freelancing, I decided that I'm, that I'm going to do something that my heart goes out to. So that no matter the hardship, no matter, no matter the trials, it's going to be worth it immediately the moment that I am doing those, going through that. Yeah, yeah, and, and doing something you love, right? something mm -hmm. we didn't talk about earlier. But one of the great things about freelancing is we have that freedom. Right? It feels it feels yeah. very liberating. It feels very freeing that we can get paid to do something we love, regardless of the rate. I know us here, we're earning more than what we would earn in, in locally. Right? We were earning, earning more than enough, but we're also doing something that gives us fulfillment compared to working in in, in a corporate uh, a corporate job in, in most cases diba right? um so going, going to jerica diba right? after you know after the the struggles the challenges um the, the investments the tears what's what result did you get ano lang yari uh, sure, share ko lang kasi nakaka-relate din ako kay Sir Phoenix after na first client ko transcription job din yung nakuha ko yung tipong 500 pesos for eight hours or hindi pa ako natutulog para lang matapos yung transcription. So, yung goal ko kasi noon para kumita, para may pera. Pero after noon, uh, nag ako ng five months. Parang meron ng passion. Parang may bigger goals. Hindi lang uh, para magtrabaho lang sa pera. Kundi i-improve ko pa yung skills ko para makuha ko yung gustong job. So yung client ko ngayon, um, Okay na siya yung gusto kong trabaho dahil part-time siya, maraming maraming time sa anak ko at saka uh, konti lang yung oras, okay naman yung pay. Ayun, tapos um, siguro nakatulong din yung ini-schedule ko yung activities ko every e every day parang um kinukontinue ko pa rin yung lesson tapos nag-hustle pa rin um, kahit hindi man tatlo na uh, quality cabinet letters yung masabi ko, at least merong isa. Tapos basta continuous lang. Continuous lang yung pag, uh, pag improve ko po ng skills. Ayun, tsaka yung sabi ni Pami talaga, yung hindi ko nasabi, positive, uh, uh, ay yung mindset talaga. Yung barang natutunan ko. Tapos um, yung, yung confidence, confidence din. Kasi um, nakuha ko yung client na to kasi... Um, Parang inaaral ko talaga yung man nahiya kasi ako eh. Parang nakuha ka siya dahil tinalo up ko, tinalo up ko siya sa job post, parang ganun, yung confidence. Pero ngayon, yun, after, after ng struggles, okay naman na. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Eh, uh, ikaw pa mi, how about you? Submit ka. Pala ko. Yun, um, ako po kasi yung struggle ko after getting my very first client is yung um, dahil gabi yung trabaho ko. Ang hirap nung lahat natutulog sa bahay niyo tapos ikaw <laughs> wala kang kausap. Wala kang, isa pa sa struggle yun yung um, keep yourself motivated kahit na may client ka na. Kasi yung wala kang kasama sa bahay, wala kang kachikahan, wala kang kausap. Tapos kahit bad trip ka sa client mo, walang makakaintindi sa'yo sa bahay mo. Um, sobrang dami pa rin na kailangan, uh, dami pa rin aspect na kailangan mo pa rin yung motivation na hen, kahit may client ka na. Kasi um, you, have to, you have to know kung, kung gusto mo pa ba talaga yung ginagawa mo. Tapos, um, kasi minsan kapag mag-isa ka lang sa bahay, tapos katulad ko po na working uh, working sa bahay tapos meron akong kids katulad po sa akin kanina tingnan katulad kanina naka-live ako bibigay na lang sa akin bigla yung bata kasi talo na um in, uh, newborn lang kakapangan ako lang two months ago tapos ang hirap nung 
habang nag-work ka, may aalagaan ka pang mga bata. Unlike kapag nandun ka sa corporate uh, corporate job mo, kapag andun ka na, you just have to work. Yun lang. Unlike sa akin na kapag nasa bahay lang ako, um, kapag nasa bahay lang ako, tapos habang nagtatrabaho ako, iisipin ng lahat na you can work while you're also nag-aalaga ng mga bata. Ang hirap ng ganong task naming mga mothers na nag-work uh, as a freelancer kasi nag-aalaga ka na, lalo na sa mga BF mom, breastfeeding moms, nag-aalaga ka, nagpapadede ka pa, tapos nagtatrabaho ka pa at the same time. And you have to keep yourself motivated then at the same time. Kasi kapag yung ganun kung yung yun yung isa sa mga nagiging problem ko na minsan napapaiyak na lang talaga ako kasi trabaho may mga deadlines ako tapos at the same time deadline din ng diaper ng anak ko <laughs> tapos ang daming ang daming kailangan ang dami ko pang iisipin like um yung yung labahan ganun ganun hindi ka talaga pag nasa corporate ka madali nilang iintindihin na Um, ah, nasa bahay lang. Ah, ay, ay, may nagtatrabaho kasi yun ni eh. Wala sa bahay. So, kami, may, may magkukusa na tumulong sa'yo, maglaban ng mga damit, mag-alaga ng mga bata. Pero it, it doesn't work that way when you're a freelancer, mom. Um, they expect you to work the, the household chores and taking care of the kids and working mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah. Mm, that that adjustment but that that adjustment you know aside from the challenges there's that adjustment where we start working from home it's not just you know when you have kids but also um, one of my own adjustments is um not going to sleep when the bed's so near to you uh, so fridge na malapit lang so Make, but those are the kinds of adjustments that we face. Unfortunately, we are um, out of time to, to really mm-hmm. uh, explore that area. But on, on based on oras, I, I really enjoy the discussion. How about you guys watching? Did you enjoy the discussion? Um, I'll go over the comments real quick quick before we end. Um, and yeah, uh, Laura Lee saying, Kaya dapat, dapat talaga hindi tumitigil sa pag-apply. Apply lang ng apply. Um, sabi nga ng Ms. Anna, mag-settle na sa ang client if ever mag buffer um, and she's happy with two clients now um, let's see here <coughs> i just following facebook friends then oh and then, uh, let's see i'll just look at the comments thank you sa positive advice uh, sir phoenix and uh, see si atipas hello beautiful people uh, see si jd what jd does is uh, always watch just success to keep me going on freelance journey it helps me to boost my confidence yep you can you can we do that every week um, or almost every week you just success interviews nothing um you may have ibang questions dito um that we can answer in the comments um like we don't have time to answer them i'm just going through these here uh these comments here um i started reading blogs and videos about freelance because i'm on the videos in sir jason yes i'm not mm-hmm. charging at one dollar now that's good to hear i want to join boot camp kite five year now ako because marami pa ako hindi alam. And, and yes you're welcome to join the boot camp naman uh even as an experienced freelancer i love booking pero ayoko nasa corporate talaga may mga bookkeeping jobs naman talaga um and there's a blog thank you Sharmin, for sharing yeah we have um a lot a lot of people a lot still a lot of comments um, i'm sure our mods will, will reply to the comments, memo questions that uh, we didn't cover tonight. But before we end, we're a little bit over the time, but before we end, I just wanna um, ask you guys, like, you know, we talked about the negative side of freelancing, but we talked about our challenges. We talked about the adjustments we have to make. So as we end this session, um, maybe we'll share, you know, what we what the result is right now, Sanatayo, after all that those challenges. Um, mm-hmm. So Jerica, um, any piece of advice that you want to share as we close out that, that you want to share with our audience? Um, siguro sa ma- ma-advise ko lang sa wala pang client, uh, dapat hindi kayo talaga mag-give up. Improve yun lang talaga yung skills nyo. Tapos, uh, mag-invest kayo sa course, katulad ng VA Bootcamp, kasi uh, kompleto na siya. Tapos, um, i-share ko lang yung saying na when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Ibig sabihin lang, um, strong people nagtitik ng action hindi siya nagigive up so yun all right all right thank you jerica uh, Tammy? um yun um 
actually this month I just celebrated my first year as a freelancer. Wow. Um, sobrang mm-mm, sobrang malaking bagay talaga ito sa akin. Um, nakapag invest na ako for my own business and at the same time, yun, na-invest ko yung, yung pag, para sa akin, it's an investment na sobrang close na namin ng anak ko. And sobrang, sobrang daming bagay na nabago talaga sa buhay ko when I started freelancing. And every day, I still face face those struggles. And and every day, I fight I fight it. So, it's it's a it's an ongoing journey na that 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 never stops. Kaya don't think guys na kapag nag-start na kayo yung hirap hanggang doon lang sa makakuha ng very first client no. It happens all over and over and over again. Nasa yan kung paano mo siya i-face. Tapos yeah, um ngayon um marami na rin ako nakilala clients. Um yung knowledge ko na share ko na sa maraming tao pag may nagtatanong, pero hindi ako nagtuturo. <laughs> nagtatanong, nagsasabi lang ako ng advices, kapano. And at the same time, kapag may nagtatanong talaga sa akin on how to be, be a free, freelancer, ang lagi ko po talaga sinasagot sa lahat is nag, nag-aral ako sa bootcamp. Yun ang sinasabi ko sa kanila kasi wala ka ibang may re-recommend kasi that's how I made it. Hindi ako nag-self-study kasi kung, kung nag-self-study ako, I might have ano baka na baka hindi baka hindi ako freelancer ngayon <laughs> kasi yung hirap talaga guys alam ko ang mahirap talaga siya um you have to invest in a lot of, a lot of thing, things emotionally and mentally pero yeah ngayon one year na ako I'm so happy <laughs> and I'm not going back to corporate <laughs> congratulations congratulations Pammy uh, for for sharing that like Phoenix oh god um Kasalanan mo to Jason, you made me remember the years ago. What, um, <laughs> as people are talking right now, and as I'm reading comments at the same time, I am starting. Nagkakaroon, nag, nagkakaroon ako ng flashbacks. Eh, the that whole year of me struggling through getting through freelancing, para lang makasurvive. And I'm, I'm, sa totoo lang, I was just lucky that I still had the funds to uh to supply i could still eat i could i didn't have to panic at that time but yeah uh if uh, looking back all those struggles that my comrades have been through it's always worth it lahat lahat naman kami na nag survive nitong trials and tribulations of free of the starting up in freelancing well uh, what we just shrug off we just brush off all of those hardships that we've been through. So do take note of that. Lahat ng mga, lahat ng mga worth it, it really is worth uh, struggling for. Kasi if you want to compare freelancing, applying through freelancing to versus uh, corporate well, BPO, for example, it is easier, a lot easier to get into BPO, but Come on, marami ring umalis kasi marami ngang angal. Nothing compares to the freedom that you get from freelancing, the freedom to choose your clients, the freedom to how you want to communicate with your clients. If you want to wear shorts, you can wear shorts. If you want to eat clover in front of your clients, it is fine. Even during the, those uh, meetings, you know, those meetings that you get that you get with your clients, it is okay to breastfeed in front of your client. It is okay to I mean, they understand because these people are practical. These people are not pretentious, and these people don't have superiors to answer to uh, with regards to how you present yourself. Unlike in corporate, na yung mga superiors mo, sure, talagang galit sa yon kapag nakashorts ka pumasok, dahil sure sila rin pagagalitan ng ng boss nila. That is how it works in in the corporate. But freelancing, always take note that tayo mga Filipino we love democracy we love our freedom right we, we love that and in freelancing nanjan yung word na free you have to take note of that because that is the freedom your life that we are talking about that and everything that is worth it it is you always have to work for it and work hard for it so yun lang ang, ang masasabi ko lang if you want to if if it is becoming hard for you find your passion in it. Find the reason why you are there. Well, kung gusto mo nang masungit na Phoenix, then bakit? Hindi, hindi ka pa bagutom. 
Yun, yun, naman, yun naman laging sagot ko eh. If you're being demoti- if you're if you're already have if you already have already have your client and you're starting to feel demotivated like I do, I often do that. I often get that. Like, yung my client na ako and I'm already working and he's he's giving me some assignments and I'm like, oh god, I just I just don't want to deal with this. You can take a breath and rest for the day. Mag absent ka sa jade mo and block everything else and give yourself time to heal. And then afterwards, sa kamo tignan yung chan mo na lumiliit na. Are you happy with that? Yes. Then go ahead and starve. If you're not happy with that, then start working. Yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you for sharing that, Phoenix. What I can say is, well, it's it's not easy, but it's worth it. That's what I keep repeating um, in, in the course and in the webinars we do. It's not easy, but it's worth it. All of us here have gone through the challenges, are still facing challenges every day. Pero you see where we are right now. Ako nakabili na ako ng bahay because of my earning for freelancing. Um, Sana <laughs> Thank you. And <laughs> that's all because I make that decision every day to keep doing what I'm doing. It's it's challenging. Um, but um, we always feel the 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 that um, deep in, the feeling that we want to give up. But when we look mm-hmm. at the benefits, when we look at the freedom, when we look at what we're getting and just the feeling of being able to do what we do. Um, in Phoenix's case, you can see naka polo siya, naka necktie, pero naka shorts pala siya. I just found this <laughs> a new learning today um, <laughs> do that. And in, in the case of those who have families, ako wala akong, wala akong kids, but in the case of those who have families, being able to take care of your kids, but at the same time, earn on the side. Diba? There's, there's like nothing else that can beat that. Diba? It's not easy. There's so many challenges, but in the end, it's all worth it. All right. So, um, mm. thank you. Thank you for staying on. Um, just a one reminder. Um, let me share my screen here. Wait, application. One reminder for next. Uh, well, well, this coming Wednesday. This coming Wednesday, Anna Soriano is going to share her story. She's not here with us today, but she's going to share her story um, on Just Success Interview. Holly's going to interview her. The topic is mindset can move mountains. That this Wednesday at 5 p.m., which is perfect because we talked about mindset today and how important it is. In your freelancing journey so mindset can move mountains all right guys um that's it for today thank you so much for my co-host phoenix and our guests jerica thank you Pat, thank a great you. time hey everyone everybody bye thank you guys bye-bye bye, bye.